everyone, it's Kim. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, try and um, do the piping of the sunflowers because I need to pre-make them before I can make my blue corn maiden soap. So this is just a real basic recipe, no, no funny additives or anything. can um, color a little bit with this like a purplish black I added just a bit of purple to the black for the center this is going to be the orange um, red orange petals and then I have I'll tell you about this in a minute Let's see what am I gonna use here I guess I'll just go and get another one of these little buckets I need to get me some more of those um, medium, like the 1,000 milliliter of the um, pitchers that I like to use. I just haven't ordered them. So I just need to take a little bit out, I guess, for the centers. That's probably more than I need. I'd rather have more for my petals than for the center because I can always um, add the centers later if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and add my orange. And this is a blend of the Peach Sunset Mica and some of the, um, what is that, Ruby, what is this called? Ruby Rose Mica. And I scented it with some, I had a one ounce little sample of purple sandalwood. It's a violet and sandalwood scent. I, fit, I figured that it'll complement the amber and the um, cedar scent that I have here. Okay, I'm, I like that scent, I mean that color, that's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some black here. Halloween right now. Well, 
when I do the stems and the leaves, which are going to be like a, a violet and a lime green color, I'll pipe those on like I do with all my other um, flower type of um, slabs. I'll do them at the time, you know, when I'm pouring the actual slab. So for right now, I just got to um, let them sit here for a second. I might even have to wait and, and come back after I've already got everything in the bag because this might be real slow at setting up. And yes, if you're wondering, I did, um, Holly helped me and we readjusted my my recipe. I still have all the same ingredients in it. I just um, started using a more um, olive and less, you know, like I readjusted it that way so I'd have more play time. I still have the other one that I like to use sometimes because the qualities in it, I, start, I like the numbers when you run it through soap calc. But um, as far as when I want to, it probably works better for when I'm piping, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. This might take too long. So I just want to tell you real quick. And then I'll, I'll, I'll stop this video and then I'll come back and I'll show you once I get it into the pipe bag. But I just wanted to show you this real quick. You know how I like to use botanicals in a lot of my soaps. So how I ground up the calendula for my other flowers, I thought, okay, what can I do? And so what I did was I took the black cumin seeds that I have and I put them and some um, lavender buds in the coffee mill. It's a coffee mill I only use for my soaping stuff. And ground it through there. And look at how cool that looks. Let me see if you can even see it. Well, anyway, I'm going to put that in the center. When I pipe in the circle for the... Um, supposedly if it all goes well when I pipe in the center I'm gonna put this on top just to give it that natural look um, and then I'll you know so I just have that extra little touch of the natural and I use those black cumin seeds on my other soaps so no biggie so anyway I'll come back in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and um, let this stuff set up because I have a feeling it's gonna take a while and then I'll start piping